Hey. Got it. Oh, you can't start filming now because I gotta turn my bike around. <laughs> oh! I'll wait until you turn your bike around because that might take a minute. Oh yeah, mud. Oh yeah. Get on that front. Get on the. Get on that front brake. I got it. I'm in first gear anyway. What's happening, guys? Well, we're up here in Paiute, uh, in the Paiute OHV area, Miss Stacy and I. And this is the second time today we've gotten snowed out. She hiked up a little bit and it just gets worse. Boys, I thought you were going around. Uh, Decided that against it. That became too hard. Boys. So we were just having a nice long conversation about Ooh. downhill snow. And. How much nope was there? Down, uh, downhill mud. Because we just came roaring up here. And like we were going somewhere. Yeah, like we were going somewhere. <laughs> we came up here with a purpose. <laughs> and that purpose was a whole lot of, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but uh, I actually wasn't going to film any video today because it's been a terrible day. We've been getting rained on. The sky has just been completely ugly and I was like today's just not a good footage day but we are 70.3 miles into our current ride and uh, we rode from where we stayed last night uh, out to what's the name what's the name of that town um, I made up a bad Kusherum? word I made up a bad word nickname for it but I can't tell you guys what it is uh, Kusherum, yeah, Kusherum. What rhymes with Kush? <laughs> um, but Nothing. anyway, yeah, well, um, we had lunch in Kusherum after getting completely soaked. Uh, the whole the whole morning ride was awesome, right? It was great. I didn't even have my jacket on; I just had my armor on. And then, uh, right as it became time for us to break uh, to head, you know, somewhere to get lunch. It started pouring down rain, and it's been pouring down rain off and on since. Uh, we've been out of the rain, I don't know what, maybe like half an hour now? Yeah. But the problem is the two, the two routes that we planned, or well, the one route that we planned to use to go back at lunch uh, ended up just like that one back there did. And uh, this was our alternate route, so we did not have to backtrack the exact same way we came because Miss Stacy hates that. Yes. <laughs> uh, that one also snowed out. So, um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, we, we pushed along through quite a bit and we're gonna come up here to a long stretch where we just kind of uh, creep through mud. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, baby. Yeah. Miss Stacy, like a trooper. <laughs> Snow is easier to ride in than sand, everybody. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, it is. But um, Miss Stacy got Miss Stacy is hilarious because when she when we go on a riding trip, she starts out like, "Oh my God, I can't ride on dirt!" Like it's scary, right? And I understand because she doesn't ride nearly as often as I do. So uh, I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it dirt legs. Like you know, you need like. 10, 20 miles to get your dirt legs back. And she didn't have hers yet. So she was freaking out a little bit, you know. She was doing fine. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> that that trail is what our first one looked like. Yeah, that's that's about what it looked like. My, my shield's getting all fogged up, I can't Me see. Too. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I find it funny because she gets her dirt legs back and then all of a sudden she's like, I'm just gonna charge through the snow and <laughs> ride through foot deep mud. <laughs> she just kills it. It's, it's hilarious. This cattle guard seen better days. 
Yeah, this, when I came up on this cattle guard, I was kind of scared. Yeah, going, I was like, am I going to get stuck? Going the other way, it's like bent in half. Yeah. Scary. But yeah, she just like took off on me, which is awesome. So, Miss Stacy officially has her dirt legs back for this ride. I got mud legs over here. Yeah, you got mud legs, mud snow. Oh, we figured out another thing. She really likes going uphill. Going yeah. uphill, she rides my speed. Going down, she rides about a third of my speed. <laughs> going downhill sucks. And we talked about it, and I was like, is it a going downhill thing that's a problem? And you said... I don't know, it just... You said no. You, I said, can yeah, you do, it's like... Can you, do you have a problem going downhill in a car? And yeah. you said no, not at all. Okay, here's the... Here's... This is the... a mile of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the suck. <laughs> First gear... Yeah, that's a good point. I'm in second. <clears throat> yeah, first gear. I'm probably gonna have my feet out too, just cause it is it is nasty. Actually, I'm gonna let you go a little bit. Thought I was in first or second. Oh, uh, come on. There we go. <laughs> All right. I come through here, and then he comes <clears throat> through here, and he goes. It looks like the bike has gone through here. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> About a minute ago, it was me. No, I said, I know you just went through here, but it looks like another bike went through here. And then you made that joke, which was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, D-606, so do your thing. Do the damn thing. I didn't find that one that bad. No, going back was a lot easier than going forward. I think it was because back the first time. forward was the same to me. The first time we hit it. All right. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think yes. that was the end of it. So anyway, that was the end of the nasty. <laughs> Why do we usually don't start out videos with nasty? We usually finish them with nasty. Sure. But I gotta show you guys this road because Alright, excuse the the awful sky and the fact that we might get poured rain on. And just check out this road. It is gorgeous. Oh, and these people down here with the horse trailer are probably gonna laugh at us. Yeah, because they probably knew that. Right, they know that. <laughs> That's the thing, is like we've been going by people all day and like where we've had trouble or gotten stuck, which is not too many places. Um, uh, there have been people going the other way and you're just like, well dude, why didn't you like flag us down and tell us? <laughs> A mile ahead, you're gonna get stuck. Ooh. You're throwing out mud, Miss Stacy. I don't know if you're getting my peoples or not. <coughs> Back off then. But I wanna, I wanna wrap it out. Wee. Yeah, but we're going downhill, and we all know I don't do that. And, I, and you're going downhill in mud, which is kind of cool. Bikes are getting a, a nice mud bath, nice mud pack. Yeah, this is it's the dirtiest my bike's been in a while. Yeah, dirty, dirty little XT. He's that a, was creepy. He's a nasty girl. Um, deers. But all of this, oh yeah, look, deers. All of this is private property uh, until we get down here, uh, I don't know, maybe another quarter of a mile, maybe a little bit more. There's a sign that says entering Fisher, I think it's Fisher, um, Fisher Lake. National hey, there's Forum. the elk. There's your elk. Yes, ma'am. And they're running towards us because they're smart. Try and put your bike in neutral and eco mode. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. So you can herd trouble. elk with dual sports. You, you can. Oh, they're all going to cross the road down here. Hopefully yeah, I get, can... Yeah, get going. I'm going to miss it. Oh, there they are. There <laughs> they go. You guys see them all run across the road right there? That was kind of cool. I hope that was, I hope the GoPro caught that. The elks. I didn't but see any males, go. so I think they were all female. kind of sucks. I feel like we interrupted their dinner at this point. It's about 5.48. And it is 57 degrees. Thank you for your weather report. <clears throat> yes. Uh, we are at an altitude of 9,672 feet. That would explain the snow, Miss yeah, Stacy. it would. Because most of the day we've been hanging out around 6,000 feet. I didn't even realize we went up that far. <laughs> yeah, we have been going up for like ever. I guess so. Um, but uh, to give you guys a little bit of background, what we were doing here. Uh, 
We are here scouting out the Paiute Trail system uh, for an eventual trip. Uh, we don't actually have it planned. Uh, where we're gonna do the entire 01 loop. And what we wanted to do was come down for a couple of days, ride around, see what the trail system was like and what we needed to be prepared for. And uh, what I'd like to do, I don't think we would be able to do real camping because you can't just can't carry enough stuff to camp for that long. Uh, but what I would like to do is uh, the entire 01 loop supposedly takes about 25 hours and I think that's ATV lollygagging speed. Um, so I figure if we took like three days for exploring other stuff and doing the 01 loop, I think that'd be perfect. Okay, so here we go. Now we're back in the National Forest. Uh, I think if we did three days and set, you know, three different destinations around the entire loop that we could end up in those places and spend the night either in a cabin or somewhere. Somewhere yeah. nice. Somewhere nice. With a, with a bed. A hotel, the masseuse, and a hot tub. And air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air, con air conditioning. I think right now I need a hot tub. And my, my electric blanket. Poor Miss, awesome. Poor Miss Stacy is freezing. You forgot your gloves. Uh, she forgot her leather gloves because she didn't think she was going to be cold or something. No, I knew I was going to be wet. So I brought the waterproof gloves, which are yeah. waterproof, but they're cold. Well, why didn't you bring all three? I mean, I'm carrying the rest of your Because you told me you were out of room. <laughs> I'm never out of room. Mm -hmm. I got another like 28 cubic feet behind me that I can right. carry stuff. In that wolfman tail. That thing is awesome. <laughs> if you guys are him and haw and never getting a wolfman tail, <laughs> forget about it, dude. Go buy one. The thing is freaking great. It holds all of Miss Stacy's stuff and Which my is stuff. like a pair of sunglasses <laughs> and what do you have? A pair of gloves and a pair of sunglasses. Lunch. And then a lunch thing. That's um, it. No. That's of not mine? True. Oh yeah, viewer, you have viewers, mine? but uh -huh. it has my, uh, my stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's got extra GoPro batteries. Trying to make batteries. it sound like I packed a whole suitcase in there. It's got extra GoPro, GoPro batteries. Yeah, it was, because that's funny. <laughs> and you would. If it was on mine, yeah, I would. Um, but yeah, extra GoPro batteries. Had my jacket in there. Uh, two Tupperware things for lunch. I think I already mentioned that. But anyway. Um, yeah, wolf tail, awesome. Gets two thumbs up from the CDS feller. Oh, what else is new, Miss Stacy? We should, we should probably tell them we, we know that we're here early. Um, we did this kind of on purpose. Uh, it's Memorial Day. We wanted to come out here when, uh, you know, probably not too many people would be out here. And so we, so we, we could thought hermit. we were going to be a little south. <laughs> What'd you say? actually we're planning it we weren't planning on riding this these trails because they said that they would be covered right so, you're right but we actually we thought our cabin was going to be a little closer to the Bryce area right we thought we were going to be riding the Bryce trails and more down towards uh what's the lake lake pal lake pal um it's not that we can't read a map it's just that uh we, we didn't realize. We didn't realize well, we space was for Memorial Day weekend, like two weeks ago. So everything right. was sold out too. Yeah, we had there we had all kinds of problems. Like I didn't know if I could take off more deer. I didn't know if I could take off work. Ended up that I could, and just all kinds of stuff. That, These trees uh, are cool. Kept us from planning well in advance. So anyway, here we are. We knew there was going to be a little bit of snow. Uh, Paiute is the largest OHV trail system in the United States of America. Uh, something like 2,000 some miles of trails. Um, the actual 01 loop is, I don't know, I'm not even going to try and quote it, Miss Stacy, because I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember? It's, it's far. It's like, it's over 200 miles. I think so. Yeah, I think it's like way over 200 miles. I'll tell you later. But, um, but the O1 loop is a gigantic circle, and that circle is all linked by these little towns. And those little towns are where we can stay, as I mentioned before. So this video is probably going long as heck right now. 
But, like I said, I wanted to show you guys this road and it is cool. But yeah, we've been, you know, hey, the sun, there's actually sun. Yeah, it's a first. <laughs> yeah, it's been gray all day. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. I might shoot one on the canyon on the way back on the O2, which is the, the route that I picked last night at like midnight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess. I don't know, you gotta ride through this. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is that cool spot. All right, well, we'll tag this on. This will be extras after I roll the credits. So we'll catch y'all later, peace. <laughs> And now you guys get to see the extras. <laughs> <Nerd>. <laughs> Whatever. These trees are so cool. <clears throat> so, uh, got a couple of people to tell you about, but I can only really tell you about one so far because he just got his channel up. Uh, I posted it to the Facebook. So, this is for you hardcore guys that watch the end of the video. Um, go check out Back 40 ADV. Uh, he had just got his channel up. I have been talking to him for like the last month uh, Helping him get everything squared away um, Helping helping him get uh, Editing stuff right and all that, you know all that good stuff um, So hopefully he uh, He goes by the name vintage that is not his real name. That is a name that he was given uh, And if you go watch his channel, he will explain that to you where he got that nickname uh, back 40 ADV all right, so here's the horse trailer. That's gonna think that we're idiots. But uh, he's laughing at us. Yeah. They're Amish. I don't no. know what they are. <laughs> They're looking at us like we're crazy though. Yeehaw! I think they had donkeys in that trailer. Possibly. So. That's the end of that. Movie, video, movie over. We tried. We tried. To take other trails. We tried to take other trails. It's just, uh, it is what it is. It's spring. And our bikes are covered in mud. Riding on snow wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Not that I would like.